Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is number 62 in my Sudoku problem series. This is a little killer problem by Dying Flutchman, and I am normally pretty bad at little killer. Um, so yeah, this is one that uh, I found a little bit daunting. Um, a lot of my testers have rated this one as a medium. I think I agree with them. Um, easy, medium, it depends on your experience level with the constraint. So the way Little Killer works is there are some numbers next to arrows pointing towards a diagonal and along the indicated diagonal, the digits on that diagonal um, all the way to the other edge of the grid must sum to the number um, pointed at by the arrow. Digits are allowed to repeat if um, allowed by other rules. So um, yeah, there's a link below to where you can try this problem. Um, I'm going to wait for a few seconds so you can pause the video and then I'll be back to explain how this one works. Okay, so little killer, yay fun. <laughs> As I said, I'm terrible at them. The goal on this one, of course, is to fully resolve box one. I should have said that. So um, yeah, the, the first thing to look at, of course, is this seven. Um, so this seven is the most constrained. Seven in three cells, there's only one way to make it up, which is one, two, and four. There is a one, two looking at this cell. So this becomes the four, taking the four out of those. Uh, there's a two looking at this cell. So this becomes the one and this becomes the two. So now we want to look at how you can make up 12 in two cells. Well, you can make it up with 9, 3, except there's a 3 in each of these looking at both of those. So you can't put a 3 in either of them. So it can't be 9, 3. Can't be 8, 4. There's no 4 available. It could be 7, 5, and 6, 6 would be repeating 6s in the box. This 5 means that this is the 7 and this is the 5. This leaves four digits left for the box. So what we've got is three, six, eight, and nine. Now, this can't be a three because it's seen by two threes. This can't be an eight, and this can't be a six. Now, the only clue we've got left is this 32 clue. So the way the most... 32 in four digits is actually quite high. So what we want to ask ourselves is, can we put three on this? And it's fairly clear we can't, because if we put three on this, then the other three digits would have to sum to 29. And there's no way to do 29. Even if we were to do nine, nine, and nine, then that only gets us to 27. So we can't put three on this at all. So this becomes a three. So now the next question is, from the digits that we've got left, can this be a 6? So if this was 6 and we made this the highest possible digit, 9, we've got to 15. So we need another 17. So we need to get 17 in two digits. And the only way to do that is with 8 and 9. So this would be 6, 9, 8 and 9. One of these would have to be an 8, which would mean this can't be an 8. But with 6, 9 here, this would have to be an 8 which doesn't work. If we make this 6, 8, these would have to sum to, uh, these would sum to uh, 14, sorry, I'm getting the math, yeah, 14. These would then have to sum to 18. They both have to be nines, but with 6, 8 here, this has to be nine. Either way you do it, if this is a six, you're gonna end up with a conflict in this cell. So this becomes the nine, this becomes the eight, this becomes the six, and that is the solution to this problem. I really like this one as an introductory to Little Killer. It's not just do stuff in the box. You actually have to think about what can go on a, a Little Killer with repeated digits. Very cool problem. Thank you, Dying Fletchman, for sending it in. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. And as always, good luck with your solving.